Hey, what's going on guys? This is your buddy M1 Moto. We're just gonna do a couple of uh, reviews on a couple of mods uh, for an Ninja 300. It's no big deal, no, nothing fancy. So we have the Joshimura, as you can see. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not a Joshimura, that's a two brothers. <laughs> but these two brothers on the 300 is way louder, way louder than my Joshimura on my 600. So don't knock until you try it. You know, a lot of people knock on uh, the two brothers for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, it looks pretty good on my 300. A couple of decals for the red accent on a black bike. Put those on. It was all black. Then we have the um, shorty levers, China stuff, and the uh, red grips, also from China. Uh, they do fade a little but it's no big deal because I mean when they do fade it's just the lighter color than when you got it so nobody would even ever know that it was a you know deeper color beforehand so it's fine go ahead and get them these ones are two years old and they look freaking awesome okay then we have over here the plate delete and the integrated tail light I say go go for it <laughs> go and get them uh, Moto Dynamic I'm not affiliated with them at all you can buy a whole package with them the plate delete and integrated tail light it's plug and play very easy to install uh, and you know just go out and, and get your stuff man you know to set up a bike like this without the uh, exhaust you're looking at like let's see with the plate delete the integrated tail light and the grips and the, um, the uh, shorty levers like 180 bucks tops you know and then I painted that black gotta paint the inside so the outside still looks uh, shiny and that's the way it ends up looking you know it looks really good compared to the stock um, stuck stuff that you, you know when you go and get it at the dealer it just looks way better now this bike has um, about 25,000 miles on it because I ride it all the time so 25,000 miles later it's great it treats me good it's a freaking workhorse I ride it everywhere I've ridden on the rain a bunch of times because I ride it so much uh, the only problem that I did have after two years of having it is that um, the charging uh, system for the battery something gave out and I had to take it in it was $1,200 to fix but I did luckily have the extended five-year warranty so it covered it but the guy told me that that is a common problem on a 300 i don't know for the newer model this this is a 2014 but I, he said for this model i don't know if this g this year only but he said it was pretty common so hopefully it doesn't happen to you hopefully it doesn't happen to you uh but you're looking at twelve hundred dollars uh, I think it was a rectifier. Um, uh, that's what I remember they told me. I mean, just buying it, if you were going to do it yourself, it was $600. You know. So, mileage is great. 25,000 miles later, it's awesome. Uh, these are the mods on my bike. This is what the video is all about. You know, two brothers uh the grips the handlebars and integrated tail light and uh, plate delete not a lot guys it's really not a lot but it makes the go the goddamn bike look fucking great so let me know what you guys think you know hit me up with some videos of your own if you have a 300 i like to see it and see how it looks maybe i can you know integrate some of what you have into into my bike uh hit the like button subscribe send some comments anything you guys want 
Alright, so check you out in the next video.